So this is the Steel FSA 90R electric battery operated weed eater. The question is, is this thing worth buying? You go to the store and ask them for, they got like four different sizes and I think the 90R is the biggest one you can get for 350, 370 to $400, depending on where you're at. In Louisiana, they're worth $370. And is it worth buying? It comes with a really nice looking charger. You have to buy, a, it comes with one battery and you have to buy another battery separate for like $120. And most of the time, electric weed eaters really fail. Like they are horrible, they do not, last very long the batteries just go down quick like it takes like an hour to charge them and usually it's just weed eating some small things like this right here it, it don't even do worth the crap or weed eating under that trailer electric weed eaters don't usually do very good like they have failed through years if i wanted to weed eat around them dumpsters electric weed eaters are not the thing to weed eat around or like that grass right there uh most of the time, electric weed eaters are horrible, and I don't like electric weed eaters, but this thing right here has changed my mind. I'm gonna tell you what I think about my electric steel FSA 90R weed eater. This thing just blows my mind. It's so impressive. It's got four bars right now. This is a fully charged battery. This battery, usually whenever I charge my batteries, it takes 15 to 20 minutes at the most to charge these batteries. Say I got both of these batteries fully charged. If I wanted to do a lot of weed eating around this ballpark, there is nothing but weed eating happening everywhere around here. And one battery can last me up to two and a half hours without stopping and taking no breaks. So once that battery is completely dead after two and a half hours, I can just come back and get this battery and throw that one on the charge. And by the time I get done with that new battery, it'd be another two and a half hours, which makes five hours of work on this weed eater. And I'm telling you, it is impressive on how quick it charges, 20 minutes at the most. And they are really a strong weed eater for an electric weed eater. Now my gas powered weed eaters are still a lot stronger than this, but for an electric weed eater, I'm just impressed on how powerful it is. This is it, like it has a lock right here for in case you got kids around, you wanna play with it and you don't have nowhere to hang it up. You got a lock right here so you don't have to worry about your kids playing with it. And unlock it right there. It's got a little knob right here, just like some gas powered steer weed eaters got a little, a little thing to adjust the speed. So that's all the way down low. That's about, for that speed right there, that's about how much speed a Troy built or a Craftsman or a Ryobi would have if it was a battery operated weed eater. About that much power. Now, if I wanna go to like the middle, this would be like middle speed. Now that speed would impress me really well for an electric weed eater because that is really powerful for an electric weed eater. Now, only kind of weed eaters I've seen that would have this much speed that's electric is the ones that has like a little plug in. You plug an extension cord to it and it's weed eater brand. Weed eater brand made a weed eater that you plug into the wall with an electric extension cord and they have about this much power. Now, this is what really impresses me. Now, let me turn it up all the way. So this is turned up all the way. That is really quiet and it just impresses me on how strong this weed eater is. This is some tall grass right here. Watch how quick and easy this thing is. It's so light I can hold it with one hand real well. I just ran out of string. So let me just make a, let me go hurry up and show you how impressive. I love the way you fill up the string. I'm glad I ran out of string because now I can show you how easy it is to fill up the string. This thing right here, you line these two lines up right here. 
Now that I ran out of string, I'm gonna show you. You stick a string in there and I'll show you how long the string has to be and how long it can be. I mean, you can really use a lot of string. And before I do that, let me go to this right here. This is the motor and that's the battery over there. The wires go through here and I like how most weed eaters got like a little gap in between that, that strings and grass can get tangled up in. This right here don't have that gap. That's what I like about it. It don't have a gap in between, but it does have this. And if you're wondering what that is, that is the fan to keep the motor cooled down. And that's just impressive how they got a fan to where it, whenever it spins, it captures air through there to cool down the motor. And let me fill this thing up with string and show you again on how strong it is. And I'll go and weed eat, finish weed eating what I did over there. So this is about how long I do my string. I do like four arm lengths of as long as my arm. And you just line up that line right there to the arrow, get your string and just feed it on through. And it should come out on the other side, just like that. Now, now that it's out, you pull it, grab this end and this end, just put them together. Get both the ends and get them even. And then you pull it. Okay, that is even right there. Now you see, that's about how long I keep my string inside this head because it's a really big head. And all you gotta do is hold one hand right here while you get your other hand and put your fingers right there. You're supposed to put your fingers inside this and turn it like this, but that's kind of hurts your fingers after a little while. So I just use the palm of my hand and just do this right here with it. Just keep turning it. So let me wind it up and show you. Put my hand like this and just wind it up just like this. Should be almost even as you can see this one's a little bit longer but i can suck it in just a little bit more and after that i can just and now it's even and the string is now done so now that I got string inside here, I'm gonna show you how good this weed eater is with really tall grass. So let's go over here. I got some grass right here that needs to be weed eated inside the rocks and some thick stuff right there too. So I'm gonna show you, this is just normal grass that you weed eat most of the time. And look, it's so light. I can hold it with one hand and weed eat. That's what I love about this thing. It's so light. strain at all on weed eating just that normal stuff now this right here is a little bit of some thick stuff some little weeds growing so let's see if it strains through this impresses me on an electric weed eater now yes your gas powered weed eater is way better than this but that is really strong for an electric weed eater this stuff right here is pretty thick
and it just eats through this like nothing. Most electric weed eaters will be basically like this. The weed eaters that I've used that's electric will be like this. And I'm telling you, all it does is just slaps the grass. You have to go very slow like this with it. This is all the way turned down as low as you can possibly get it. You see, that's basically like every other electric weed eater. That's just like every other electric weed eater. But once you turn this thing up, it just it just turns into a whole nother level. how strong this weed eater is so let me go back and set down the weed eater and talk about this thing a little more now it's dirty so another question you might be wondering about is since it's electric the battery is right here and the motor is down there are you still able to wash these things yes you are able to wash it you can soak this as much as you can the motor is sealed and that airflow channel that's through there is basically a little piece that airs off the, the top of the motor. It don't go inside the motor, so you're good to wash your electric weed eater. And also down at this area too, you're allowed to wash it. It's all waterproof. So yes, you are allowed to wash your electric weed eater without damaging it and it's all waterproof even if you're weed eating around a pond and you accidentally drop the head into the pond it's still good to go it don't affect anything just try not to get water inside here whenever the battery's out of it just try not to get water inside there whenever the battery's out of it and if you do just let it air out and it should start working again and it probably it probably ain't gonna work and i'm not gonna tense it but i wouldn't get i would not get water inside where the battery goes like just to show you, here's another thing, how to take the battery out. You got two fingers right here, just squeeze that and it just pops right out like that. And that's how, how big the battery is. And on the inside, just try not to get no water inside here. And if you do get water inside there, just let it dry out first and, if, and then let it dry out for like a day or two. And then you can go back using your weed eater again if you accidentally leave it out in the weather with no battery inside of it and yes this this is a really great weed eater i'm telling you for an electric weed eater this is the one that i would go for and for 400 bucks that's really not bad at all and then 500 for another extra battery basically that's really a good deal for a great weed eater for a lot of older people that can't handle heavy weight weed eaters this is a perfect one for you it costs just as much as buying a brand new gas powered weed eater and if you're not doing no commercial work this is perfect for around the house for little small things that needs to be weeded like around your trailer around your dumpster around little small things in your driveway just around a fence this is a perfect weed eater to have and don't have to worry about buying mixed gas ever again and other than that, any other questions that you want to ask about this weed eater, please comment something. And thanks for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on equipment that I buy. I also got a steel pressure washer that I bought and a steel electric chainsaw. And whenever I get time to use them two tools, I will make videos on how impressive they are to me and how shitty they are to me. So far, I've never found anything about this electric weed eater that i dislike it is impressive to me any other electric weed eaters i just throw them in the dumpster it's just this is an amazing tool don't forget to subscribe to my channel